we wanted to talk about um, architectural stuff as well. We've been teasing about it, but we haven't talked about it yet. I should probably yeah. like create a new test case. Yeah, so we can go to the feature folder and create this uh, uh, arc test, for example. Arc. This arc. architectural plugin is what have been keeping me busy uh, during the summer, and uh, and so we have received we have received some cool, very cool recent additions that I really really like. So I think we can start very simple. Do mm -hmm. for example, I guess Brent, you love DD from Laravel, right? I do. I do. Okay, so what do you I don't do? Love, I really though, do. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, it sounded yeah, like you, but you it, thought I was joking with it. No, I do. No, no, no. I also love it. But the thing okay. is that you probably don't don't love to see it like in production, for example, because you <laughs> forgot know. something, forgot yeah. about the DD. Yeah. So you can type like test globals. Global, like this. Yeah. Globals. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, you don't have to provide the function, by the way, in some in certain scenarios because past can. Uh, yeah, you can just type test globals and then close the parentheses. Yeah, and then yeah, chain yeah. with expect. You can type expect. And then probably an array with dd and dump. Mm -hmm. um, and then not to be used. To be used. Yeah. So if you do this, we will check if you have dds in ah, your code base. I don't, but... So let's add one, yeah. <laughs> so wow. yeah, there you go. So and th this is this is pretty pretty great actually because um, I don't remember if there are any tools that did this before Pest. Um, yeah, may maybe with some static analyzers that you could make custom rules stuff like that, but. Mm -hmm. This being built in, it's it's still a very simple example, but you can also like um, what I remember. Well, I don't I don't know the syntax, but you can check whether like the your your structure, uh, your document structure yeah. is is correct. We can, right? We can cover like, that. We can cover that. Like, um, for, let's do it right for now. Example, you can. You can if, yeah, like actions, for example, action classes. Mm -hmm. Um, there's this this convention in this project that all action classes should have an invoke method. Can we check for that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. We can do that. Let's do it. <laughs> all right. So just type task actions. Yeah, yeah. Ex expect, and then you pass the namespace where all your all your actions are. Uh, that's app actions, right? Okay, and you type to be invocable. To be in. Uh, you probably need to remove the, yeah. The Re then you will find. No, 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 no. The first, the second one. Uh, I don't think you even need double dashes because you're working yeah, with uh, regular single uh, codes. codes. I think. Yeah, go for it. Uh, okay. So you will find. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So there is a, there it's is actually, some stuff that is not invocable <laughs> there. <laughs> okay. Um, let me actually. I want to see the this output. Um, I should definitely vendor. I should add an alias for pest, but um, arch test. So it was uh, ooh, tests uh, feature. feature arch test. Yeah. Um, you can also now use the only if you want, but yeah, but let's keep it like this. Yeah. So you see, like this uh, plate pro user profile information uh, is not invocable, so it will point you in the right direction with the snippet. So if you just scroll scroll down a little bit. Yeah, I can I can click on it, of course. Yeah, which is also nice. Um, so yeah, here, yeah, by the way, yeah. it's is is telling yeah that profile information is not invocable. So, wow. Yep. Yeah. So th this is like when I saw this, this was the feature that I thought, okay, I'll have to switch to yeah. best at some point because it's so yeah. powerful just for quality assurance. You know. Um, yeah. Especially when you're working on open source projects like RFC yeah. Vote here, uh, there there are close to twenty contributors now. It's it's the, the, yeah, this is this is yeah. just great. Do you want to see really something good. cool? Do do you like yeah. final classes? <laughs> uh, yeah, I do. Do you? Okay, so you can. Uh, I don't know yet. I I use them like <laughs> sometimes. So, sometimes I use them. Sometimes I don't. Just to piss yeah. people off, you know. Okay. Final read only. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do, do you, so you have final everywhere, right? Exactly. I think it's uh, it's in my. Uh... Oh no, no no no! I'm wrong. In your uh, pint configuration, Final. 
I oh, oh the Jason. Find yeah. the Jason. I know I don't have a custom. You don't have it? <laughs> okay. So something you can do is just go to your test file and you type test. Um, I don't know, we'll call it good practices or whatever you like to call, just a bunch of rules. Yeah. Uh, uh, and you can this is the way, yeah. Sorry. This go is ahead. the way, yeah. There you go. Yeah. And you can type <laughs> expect the entire app namespace. App. Uh, then you need to filter by classes, by the way, because otherwise you will check for enums and shit like that. So you need to type uh, classes. Yeah. And then to be final. Dude. Yeah. yeah so now we will tell you might, that. There might be. Yeah, might some be. stuff which is not final. There Let's you go. Let's fix it. Yes. And Keep going. Uh, email. You're a liar. You said that all your stuff was final. We are just detecting that you have <sighs> some stuff that's open not final. Open source, man. Open source. <laughs> there you go. And this is Laravel code. So. You see how cool it is? Like you're just ensuring that all, all your classes remain final forever, which is pretty cool. But like you can keep uh, going. Like we can we can do stuff like to be read only, for example.